Hi guys, I wanted to show you. I want to show you my latest creation in Principia. Here is my missile. Uh, it's guide. It's a guided missile, and it's quite short range. So let's. I'll leave the details later on. Let's take it for a spin for now. I have a target on the left side of the missile that would be this. Uh, that would be marked by this laser and uh, the targets over here it's quite inaccurate that's why it, uh, it, it is ac inaccurate so that's why the laser is quite far from the actual target and since I have I'll, I'll show you the range first so I'm gonna make it go to the right it's quite short range really it uh, we need we have to make it fly in the low altitude because of the limitations of laser so that's how far it goes and let's now hit the target so I said earlier that there's a we needed to make it fly in a low altitude because there's a limitation of the laser and in Principia, the laser only goes to a specific height, uh, I, and lasers are the only way that I know of to send a signal towards the rocket and to tell the rocket that the time has come to come down and destroy whatever the target is. And oh, I used the term rocket. I think it's a missile, <laughs> and I introduced it as a missile. Hey, <laughs> so. Uh, most of the the way we, it communicates to the ground is via lasers over here uh, There's a, a timing module because it was too heavy for me to get onto the missile and here's the launching module I use a cursor field, but in, Maybe instead of a cursor field, maybe there's a launch pattern a uh, launch password or something cool like that um, inside this missile silo so how it works is, this is the main control module over here. It m takes the measurement from the tilt meter which measures uh, the angle relative to the ground and whether it's rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. It's wired so that if it turns clockwise, it activates this thruster and if it's turned counterclockwise, it activates this thruster. So as you can see here, Let's turn off the stabilizer. As you can see here, it it uh, it, tr it it tries to keep the tilt meter right side up. Then this tilt meter is connected to this servo, which could turn this tilt meter. And because the tilt meter the because the these thrusters try to keep the tilt meter right side up, the rest of the rocket turns. The the servo is is controlled by this CT servo, which in the game Principia it uh, translates the signal in input one directly to the angle of the servo. There are two other CTs. I call these CTs because they, they start with the letter CTs, C and T. So, we, they are called the CT mini and the CT feedback. Here, let me bring them up over here. Um, the CT mini is by, f by far the simplest CT of them all. And it controls the speed and the direction. And obviously, this would not work because we need to preset the the angle not the speed and the direction the city feedback is like the city mini but with more components and the and it also has the torque and force um uh, torque and force thing or power wait what power speed control speed force trade off there you go you could control the speed force trade off which is absolutely unnecessary to this machine so we go with the city servos the value from the if servos 
comes from these three if selects if selects are like the relay of this game um, there the signal from input to wait the signal that comes out of output depends on the signal from input 2 if the sin signal of input 2 is higher than 0 0.5 then it's then it uh, and that it uses the signal from input 1 as the output if it's lower than 0 0.5 it selects the it, it uses the value for um, input 0 over here the output oh wait let's talk about the output later but the values for the angles are preset in these green things called jumpers then th this if select um, this if select con uh, the values of the jumpers of this if select are the values corresponding to the directions left and right essentially the direct the horizontal directions this one is, are the vertical directions and the input of these are uh, the output of these if selects are the input of this if select then the output of this in if select is the out the output of this if select is the input of the ser the city servo so let me show you the sequence so at launch you can choose the direction you want the missile to go then once it launched it waits and uh, for a certain amount of time for it to travel a certain distance so it would be higher off the ground then once it's high off the ground this toggles which makes it go horizontally then this toggles so now it's going horizontally and if we if letter C gets toggled again it goes straight down then it hits the marker and it toggles letter C so that's how it goes straight down so that's how it works I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.